Hello everybody, welcome to Working Horses with Jim. Jim has just arrived home from a day of logging down at Paul Smith's. So let's catch up with him and see how his day went. Hello, how was your day? Good. Tired, but good. Okay, so I wanted to talk a little bit about um, my trailer. Um, the last time I talked about my trailer was a few videos back and I was trying something new with the horses in the trailer. And so I have always been putting, recent, I mean, most of the time I've been putting Bill in the front and Lady in the back, but then I decided to try something a little different. And I decided to take my harnesses with me and put both the horses up front without their harnesses on and then harness them when I got up to the woods. And I thought that would have been a great idea. And in some ways it, it is. I think the horses appreciate not having to carry their harnesses back and forth. But it just, it didn't work that great for me. It was too much of a pain to harness them up in the woods. The ground's so uneven. And uh, it just it was so much easier to keep them harnessed and, and harness them in harness and unharness them in the barn. So I went back to the old way, except for I put Lady in the front and Bill in the back. Bill's my shortest horse, so there's less room in the back to turn, so he's able to turn a little bit better. And I gotta get these guys in loaded because they're um, getting anxious because they want to get out of there and they're thirsty and they want to eat. But the reason I'm talking about all this is because we have uh, some good news. We have, <laughs> have just purchased a different trailer. So we'll talk more about that and tomorrow we're going to go pick it up. Here's Billy. How cold was it up at Paul Smith's today? When I got there, it was 10 above. That's Fahrenheit, of course. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, when I got there, I think it was four above. And was it four? It was four when I got there yesterday. And then, then I think it went up to six or eight. And that's as high as it got all day. Lady, come here. Lady, hey, hey. Lady, come here. Come in. Get in here. You got hay in your stall, lady. So this is this is Wednesday. And this will be the actually the last day of logging this week. Because we've got a trailer to go pick up tomorrow. And we got a snowstorm coming in on Friday, and I've got some sleigh rides to do on Saturday. So, logging's done for this week, and then next week, I am hoping on getting a Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday into the, in the woods, and then we're going to be getting really close to Christmas, and we got another big snowstorm coming in towards the end of the week. And we have sleigh rides to do. So um, next week, those three days, if I can get those three days in, might be ladies' last, last days in the woods mm -hmm. for this winter. Get it. What do you think about that, lady? You got ma maternity break. 
she might get one more week in after that. Get her. Hard to say, but she's pretty well done. So you want to explain the new brushes that we got? Yes, I wanted to thank, um, we had several people that were very, very generous and gave us new brushes, curry combs and um, main combs and salve and all kinds of nice things. So thank you um, to you who did that. I think it was um, Mona and Simon. I'm not sure if I got that right or not. I hope I did. Um, we really appreciate your thoughtfulness. That was so very nice of you. So we got all kinds of new new things. And I'm gonna brush the horses. You're brush now. Okay, I'm gonna grain these others so we can get them inside. Yeah, they're ready to come in. Oh, just a second. Let me, uh, show this oh yeah i wanted to show that i have uh we finally got this opened up from baron actually andy was able to work on uh monday um he's been gone on vacation for the last two weeks but he was there to work on monday so we got this wall taken out that was up the petition for the two colts so it gives them a little bit more room in here so i'm pretty happy with that that <laughs> so now we're in the where the colts go my two youngest colts and uh, we give them a little grain they come in and eat on this side here and then they eat the hay over there, and I'll give them a little bit more hay after they eat the grain. Have this gate here just so they don't cause trouble. And they go right into their stall. And since the grain is there and they know it, it's not a problem usually. All right, guys. They get their water outside. They have a uh, bit of a stream out there. And then there's a tub with a, that uh, has a spring and the, the water run continuously into the tub so they can get water out there. But I do have a small container right here that I put a bucket in of water every night just so they have a little extra water so I don't have to bring them over to the tub and, and water them at night because they come back after Later on, after they've been fed for a couple hours and give them a little bit more water of the, the other guys, and these guys, I just put it in here. And that works pretty good. Which, which uh, brushes are you using? Well, I think this is actually, it's for Pasterns. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but I love the size of it. Okay. And it um, seems to work good. And this rubber one. Yep. Very I good. like it.
Okay, so let's put these guys in. And I got six. Hey, man. They also have water at the low stream, so they don't need to drink. It's nice when they all go in their stalls. Looks like a beautiful evening out tonight. So I'm assuming that Baron is liking his more room in his stalls. Are you getting that? Yeah, I got it. Get a bite. Get a bite. Get a, get a. Okay, now we'll wait till tomorrow and we'll take you with us and we'll go get our new trailer. So hi everybody, we just got back from picking up our new trailer. Let me show you what we have. As you can see, it's an Exus trailer. It is 20 foot long. Meaning from here to here is 20 foot. And then of course the overhang over the cab. And I parked here today so that you can see the difference between my old trailer and my new trailer. You can see there's quite a few inches in height difference between the two. Of course they're on uneven ground right here so it's not quite as clear but there is quite a few inches in height difference and also in width difference so as we come in here and look at the trailer and length too yeah of course length yes that was a 16 foot trailer and this is a 20 foot trailer so it's 20 feet long and it is several inches wider and it's also several inches taller so i'm hoping that i can easily back a horse out of here with their harnesses on, which I could not do in my other trailer. My plan for this trailer is to get plexiglass, cut plexiglass, and they tell me I can take these two bolts, loosen them up, and slide the plexiglass in these windows. So being winter time, these have to be all sealed off for warmth. And we will also do it in these, uh, the door here. I'm not sure how we'll do that, but I'm sure there's a way. Um, so I have to get that done. I also want to get mats on the floor. So we are actually going to, um, I just checked here a while ago and at, at runnings, there's mats in there, trailer mats and they're seven feet long. So I'll put mats. I think I'll take five mats, the whole length of the trailer. Is that right? Four times five is 20, right? Four times five is 20. Yes. Yeah. And that's what we got. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm going to pull the trailer around and put it into the barn where I normally park it. And then I think I'm going to throw a harness on Buck and bring him out and see if he can back out of this trailer. Did you want to show him the top, the front up there of what's up in here? Just a, a, a quick side thing. This door s turns, opens like just like this and locks in place. And my plan as of right now is to put the horses so the two horses will be standing here because it's wide enough and high enough to work. And then that way, in the whole front of the trailer, this is a door right here, which opens up from the outside, of course. And let me just open that up. You stay right in here. So this is my side door, which I really like. And one of the things I like about it is it's so much wider. As you can see over here, actually on my other trailer, that side door there is so much narrower. If I have to, I can actually easily bring a horse in from this side if I have to or if I choose to do that. So my plan as for right now, since I generally just go to the woods with two horses, is to have the horses in the back. And this whole front here will be used to carry all my um, logging equipment, uh, my chainsaws, my gas and oil, hay and grain and water for the horses, all that good stuff. I don't need 10 feet, of course, but uh, um, this is also going to be really nice when I want to move my skid steer and or my logging cart. 
I can easily put the horses plus the skid steer and the logging cart. Well, I don't know about all four, but at least I could put the, the some up front and some in the back. What I might do eventually, I'm even thinking that uh, even fairly soon, I want to, um, I might be taking three horses to the woods some. And so I could easily put one horse kind of kitty corner right here and make some sort of a temporary petition right here so that the one horse can be there. I close the door and have the two horses behind. And then I'd still have all this room up front to be to carry all my stuff because this area here is plenty of room to carry my stuff. Also, next year, if we go to a horse pole from a distance away and we want to spend the night, we can put a that noise is painful. We can put a mattress up here and we can even spend the night and sleep up here. This is the, the handle for the jack, which is different than mine because the handle on that trail of there, the handle actually is connected to the trail. This one you have to take on and off. So that just stays up here. Um, this is interesting here. I don't know what these, they kind of. Does that open up at all in there? Like windows or anything? No. Uh, actually, maybe that's kind of why it's set up that way. So maybe you could have put a window in. I'm not sure. So I'm, and I'm not sure what, what these grooves are for. I'll have to look into that and see what that is for. Also, if you just stay right there. Okay, there, there's a slight switch here to turn these lights on and off. And there's one, two, three lights in here. But apparently the truck has to be, lights have to be on the truck for that to work. Use a battery obviously. from the truck. Yeah. Anyways, I'm very happy with this. Let's go get, I'll park this into the, where I normally park it and we'll bring out Buck. This is interesting. It's got a, it's got a hook here. Snap it in place to just lock it temporarily type of thing. And then going down the road, of course, you have to lock it so it stays in place. But then when you go open it, you think just by opening this, but it won't until you release that. Ah. Oh, and one other thing I didn't show you. This is the same on the rear gate as it is the center gate. This door slides back and forth. And the same thing will happen on the center one. That's nice. It is nice because what might happen sometimes is I want, when I take two horses in there, it's, it might, I'm not sure how tight of a fit it would be between the two horses to bring them, to go and hitch them around. Mm -hmm. But if I open up this gate, I could go around actually and actually open up. No, I can't do that. I can't, I can't open the center gate up from the back side. Oh. But, okay, let's uh, put this in the barn because we got a snowstorm coming and I want to undercover anyways. And we will pull out Buck and see how well he backs out with the, with the harness on and see if he clears. The air this afternoon is really damp. You, we can tell that there is definitely a storm coming on. So, that's exciting news. We're going to have some snow in our forecast. All the lights work. That's exciting. What are they doing on the other trail? Yeah, but there's more of them. It looks more, it's more impressive. <laughs> Can you tell me your, how the lights work now? All right, you, you said before you were hooked up, how come it didn't work? Because uh, it wasn't turned on. Oh. Now the lights still run for a little while. Still won't. Huh. They were earlier. Must be a house to run. Can I go turn your truck on? I don't know. I think I will. I thought for sure I'd check that when they're just sitting there. Yep, they work. Works now? Yep. Well, that's weird. Right. You'd think they'd stay on. I'm going to shut it off and see if it stays on. Yeah. 
Nope. Shut up, huh? Well, that stinks. Yeah. When it's, it'd be nice if they stayed on as long as they stayed on, because then when I come around back at night, they're still on. Should I turn this off? No, whatever. I mean, it's going to be on when you turn the truck on, but I guess it doesn't matter. One thing I don't like about this, I like it and don't like, it doesn't take much to lock it. But I could almost see a horse, although I guess it'd be difficult to push this. Yeah, it'd be really hard for a horse to push that. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that's a risk. I'll have to decide where I want to tie my horses. I prefer, I think, right here. But after I put the plexiglass in there, I don't know if I can get around there. Can't get through these things. Yeah, I probably could, because wow. I could use some. Not with a regular rope. Not with a regular rope. But I could also hitch them up here. You would think they would have things like that made in horse You can trails. buy them. And you can lag them right in. Oh. Okay, let's go get him and see how he fits for height. Okay, so I decided I'm just gonna put Buck on the trailer for right now. Um, the trailer without having mats in it, of course, is gonna be a lot noisier than it will be after I get mats. But that's okay, they'll have to get used to it. Um, I'm not planning on using it actually until I get mats. But let's see how things go. Oh. With their shoes, it's extremely noisy. It's almost deafening to hear the hear the shoes oh, on this floor. Okay, so now I'm gonna back out and we'll watch closely the, the hay balls on the hames to see how much room we have. All right, back up. Back, back, back up. Back, 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 back. Oh. 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 oh, come here. Okay, there was plenty of room. Buck, oh. Buck is a fairly tall horse, as tall as can or as tall as anyone we have. So they cleared it by a couple inches. Now this is higher up that they have to step up and back up, isn't uh, it, than the other one? Not much. It might be a touch, but not, not much at all. It's kind of funny because you could tell Buck knew it was a different. Well, I'm telling you, it is trailer. deafening, noisy in here. Yeah. It really is. So I was thinking about putting Ken on beside him, but I'm not going to today. I'm going to wait till we have the mats. Ken, I'm sure, would freak out quite a bit. And why put him in a situation like that? After you get mats in here, I will actually practice with the horses for a while before I actually use them. And I hope to get mats even, even the next couple of days. We still have a few more days of, of logging with Lady and Bill before I take the blacks to the woods more full time. Um, but I probably, I might still use my old trailer because it's gonna take a while to get all this stuff done. I can see now with these windows, I thought it was like four inches, but that bottom one is a little bit wider than the top one. It looks like close to six inches on the bottom and five on the top. So it's gonna take more plexiglass than I think for. I stopped at a place in Malone and found out that I can buy a four by eight sheet of plexiglass the cheapest way I can go is to buy that whole sheet and then it's easy enough to cut myself. So that's what we're gonna do. So let me put Buck away and uh, I'm not gonna bother putting any more horses on the trailer today. And I think that might be our video for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm very much looking forward to getting my trailer fixed up and we'll get mats in it and windows in it and then we can start using it. Any other questions? No, not that I can think of. I'm just wondering how Buck liked it, that's all. Oh, he loved it. <laughs> Have a great day. We'll see you next time.